Hey guys, what's going on? So um, in this video, I'm going to show you this new model I just designed. Check it out. It's an origami lemon, and this is how it flies. Oh yeah. All right, ready, set, here goes. And what's also cool about this model is that it spins. All right, want to learn how to fold it? Ready, set, here goes. Okay, so for this model, I'm gonna use a six inch square of Kami. So let's begin white side up and let's fold in half. Okay, unfold and fold in half this way. Just try to make very precise folds and crease sharply. All right, now unfold and now it splints. So fold the four corners to the middle. Alright, and do that all the way around. Okay, and now um, let's make a fish base. So what we're going to do is uh, keep the side up with the flaps, and we're going to take this edge and fold it to the middle. And try and hold the layers down so they don't slide. Alright, unfold. Don't let that flap unfold. And fold this edge to here. Yeah, if you guys know how to make a fish base, then you can pause the video and... Or skip ahead. <laughs> okay. And now, um, make these two folds at the same time like this. And pinch the flap that sticks up like this and fold it to one direction. I don't think it matters what direction, just flatten it to one side. Well, yeah, you can just, might as well just flatten both sides. <laughs> Alright, and now it's 3P on this side, so here we go. And I'm not going to talk for this one, I'm just going to do it in real time. Okay, just like this. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna reverse fold uh, these two flaps right here, and this is how we're gonna do it. So I'm gonna start with this one. So you can just flatten them either direction, it's fine. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna reverse fold it, and this horizontal crease, that's gonna be a mountain fold. Like that, so just push this corner in and flatten just like that. All right? And repeat on this side. So, um, reverse fold right here. Make that crease a mountain fold. And flatten it. Just like this. Okay. Or actually another way, um, this is a step I actually recommend doing before you reverse fold it. Take this point and fold it to here. But this fold is what makes one of the steps a little bit easier. But this isn't necessary. Okay. Like that. Alright. And now what we're going to do is we're going to lock... Um, this together, and this is how we're going to do it. So, we're going to take this point, and we're going to fold it all the way to this point inside. And if you made that crease earlier, like I just showed, it should be really easy, just like that. Okay, and now repeat on this side. So, open here, and fold this point all the way to the bottom. And I didn't make a crease, so it's a little bit harder, but still easy. <laughs> okay. And now, it's locked. Alright, so now, what we're going to do is we're going to make it look like a lemon, so, uh, take this point and fold it to this crease right here, like this, Let's face it down a little bit, alright, and now take this point and fold it to here, this point right here. Alright, now it's rabbit ear it, so... Make those two folds at the same time, and flatten this in one direction, and make sure that this point touches this point right here. Like this, and on this side. Make sure it touches that crease right there. 
Okay, now comes the kind of tricky step. We're gonna do is we're gonna open this pocket right here, and we're gonna kind of reverse fold this flap, and we're gonna tuck this flap into that pocket. So, uh, let me get a pencil here. Okay, so if you look closely, there's a horizontal crease right here. Make that crease a mountain fold, similar to like we did before. See, just like this, and we're just gonna reverse fold it. And that crease we just made into a mountain fold is going to wrap over this edge. So make sure that point goes inside, and then reclose it, everything like that. Okay, just like that. Okay, so that was tricky, so if you didn't get it on this side, then you have another try on this side. So here we go. So let's first make the rabbit ears to fold this point to here. And fold it to here, too. And now make the rabbit ear. Make sure that point touches that fold, that crease right there. All right. And now here's the tricky step. So make that horizontal crease right there a mountain fold. Let's do that first. All right. And now open the pocket right here and reverse fold, sticking this point inside. All right. And flatten right here and here. Okay. And now just kind of flatten everything as much as possible. Like this. Alright, just like that, so that's what it looks like. And um so this looks okay, this might fly, but it doesn't really look like a lemon, it looks kind of like an easter egg. <laughs> so let's make it look like a lemon, so here's how to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold this up in between this point and this point right here, where this crease is the edge. Alright, and make sure you're on this side with the, the flaps. And repeat on this side. So fold in between here and here and it's kind of thick right here but <laughs> do your best make sure everything is flat too if possible and remember if you really want it to be if you really want this model to be flat uh, stick it under something heavy that's what I did with the one in the intro I stuck it under something heavy and kept it overnight okay and I repeat on this side so fold in between here and here. Okay. And repeat on the side. Alright, just like this. And now just kind of press it against the table like this to make it really flat if you're impatient. <laughs> okay, like this. This will make it fly better too. Alright, so there it is. Oh, and maybe you can round it off right here too. You don't need to do this, but I'm going to. Just fold to taste right there. Okay, just like this. Alright, and now, before I show you how it flies, um, I want to show you how to make it spin. So, um, I'm sure you know what to do. Just make these two creases at the same time, like this. Alright, and make a point right there. Alright, now just find a smooth table and it's a really nice spinner too. See look how long it spins. <laughs> I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it again. Wow that spins for a while. Alright now let's I'm gonna show you how it flies. Okay, so to fly the thing, you know the drill. It's just like an ordinary flicker, so I'm gonna hold it right here and I'm gonna flick right here. So here it goes. That was pretty good. Let's do it a few more times. Ah, that wasn't the best. Make sure it's as flat as possible. So the key is you want it to spin a lot in the air. That was good. Alright, one more time. 
Yep, there it is. All right, hope you guys like that, and make sure you subscribe, and peace out. Bye-bye.